American Idol fans recognize contestants from The Voice. American Idol fans have pinpointed a few contestants on season 22 who they have seen on television before. Several viewers have taken to social media to point out that they have seen the competitors on another famous competition show. While some folks are happy to see the contestants again, others are wondering what's up with the recycling of competitors from The Voice. Continue reading to see which contestants fans recognize from The Voice and what they're saying about it. American Idol fans recognize repeat contestants. A few American Idol fans have taken to social media to talk about some of the contestants this season. Haley Mia and the Alabama sisters, Mia and JC Matthews, have been on TV before. In fact, they've been successful competitors on The Voice. Haley Mia appeared on the rival competition show in 2021. Mia and JC competed on The Voice in 2020 alongside their mother, Tara Matthews. Fans caught on quickly to the recycling of contestants. Wasn't Haley Mia also on Hash The Voice? Hash American Idol. One American Idol fan asked on X. Another viewer wrote, Haley Mia literally placed fourth on Hash The Voice, so why is she auditioning on Hash American Idol? Both Haley Mia and the sisters from Worth the Wait from Hash The Voice are now on the current season of Hash American Idol, another person pointed out. Excited to see them all again, but also what's up with casting recycling the same people between the two shows be see they did this last season with other kids too, a fourth person wrote. Haley Mia continues to be an idol fan favorite, despite having seen her before. Haley Mia has panned out to be a fan favorite in season 22. In fact, fans have gone to bat for her when they thought Katy Perry was judging her too harshly. During the April 7 episode of American Idol, Haley Mia sang Tate McRae's She's All I Wanna Be. By all accounts, she nailed the performance. Many viewers felt like she worked the stage well and was sure to pay some attention to the camera as well. However, when it came time to receive feedback from the judges, Katy Perry had some harsh words for Haley Mia. I love the moments that you draw people in. Katy started off, but that seemed to be the only good thing she had to say. She told the contestant that she was underwhelmed with the performance as a whole and had a disappointed tone to her voice the entire time. Several fans took to X to express their feelings about the blunt critique. Katy Perry is a bit harsher this year and not as cartoonish, one person wrote. Another chimed in, Katy Perry is so critical of every female singer. Ash American Idol, a third wrote, I don't feel like these women are deserving of Katy's wrath. So even though it seems like American Idol is recycling competitors from The Voice, it doesn't mean they won't have the support of the viewers behind them. American Idol airs on Sunday and Monday nights at 8p.m. on ABC. In the world of reality TV singing competitions, two shows have long dominated the airwaves, American Idol and The Voice. Both shows have been instrumental in launching the careers of aspiring singers, providing contestants with an unparalleled platform to showcase their talents. However, in recent seasons, something intriguing has begun to happen. American Idol fans are recognizing contestants from The Voice, creating an unexpected overlap between the two music juggernauts. This phenomenon is sparking discussions about the nature of reality TV fame, second chances, and what it truly takes to break into the music industry. The similar yet different worlds of American Idol and The Voice at first glance, American Idol and The Voice may seem like twin siblings in the reality TV family, but they cater to distinct fan bases and offer unique formats. American Idol, which first aired in 2002, is the granddaddy of singing competitions. It focuses heavily on the audition process, the emotional backstories of the contestants, and their growth throughout the season. With its emphasis on discovering the next big star, American Idol follows contestants from the beginning stages to the finale, where one winner is crowned based on a mix of judge input and public voting. The Voice, which premiered in 2011, brought a fresh spin to the genre. Its signature feature, The Blind Auditions, places the focus on a contestant's voice rather than their appearance. Coaches, who are usually major recording artists, turn their chairs for singers they want on their teams, offering mentorship and guidance throughout the competition. While The Voice emphasizes collaboration between the contestants and their celebrity coaches, American Idol is more about individual growth and perseverance. The rise of crossover contestants recently, as American Idol continues its reboot on ABC, many viewers have been surprised to recognize familiar faces contestants who previously appeared on The Voice. These crossover contestants, once heralded for their potential on The Voice, 
have now taken another shot at fame on American Idol. This isn't entirely unprecedented, but the frequency with which it's happening has caught the attention of fans. For instance, some notable singers who have appeared on both shows include singer-songwriters who didn't quite make it past the later rounds of The Voice, but found new life and opportunities on American Idol. In the past, contestants like Michael J. Woodard, Caddy Turner, and Johnny Brenz have made the transition between shows, highlighting the importance of perseverance in the music industry. One of the most notable crossover stars is The Voice alum and American Idol hopeful Lauren Engel, whose story particularly resonated with fans. Her journey on The Voice ended early, but she found renewed hope and recognition on American Idol. Another example is singer Peyton Taylor, who, after being cut from The Voice, wowed audiences during her run on American Idol. These contestants prove that even if a singer doesn't win or achieve widespread fame on one show, there's still room for growth and discovery on another platform. Why do contestants switch shows? The decision to move from one show to another often reflects a mix of strategic planning and sheer determination. For some, it's about exposure. Each show has its own audience and fan base, meaning a second chance on a different show can mean a fresh start. For others, it's about timing. Contestants who auditioned for The Voice or American Idol in the past may not have been ready for the spotlight at that point in their careers. A few years down the road, after refining their craft, they may feel more prepared to re-enter the competitive world of televised singing contests. There's also the question of mentorship. On The Voice, contestants are coached by a celebrity who can open doors in the industry, but sometimes that relationship doesn't lead to a breakout moment. By switching to American Idol, these singers can present themselves in a different light without the added influence of a mentor and focus on developing a connection with the audience on their terms. This crossover trend speaks to a larger cultural shift in how we view success in entertainment. Reality TV has always been about giving unknown talent a shot at fame, but in recent years, it's become clear that success doesn't always come in a straight line. Contestants who don't win on one show can still have fulfilling careers, or they may need to take a few different paths before they find their true breakout moment. The fans' perspective Mixed reactions, the emergence of the voice alumni on American Idol has sparked a range of reactions from fans. Some viewers are thrilled to see their favorite contestants get a second chance. These fans have often followed these singers since their first audition on The Voice and are rooting for them to succeed on a new platform. The sense of familiarity, combined with the intrigue of seeing how the contestant has grown, adds a unique layer to the competition. On the other hand, some fans express skepticism about this crossover trend. American Idol has long prided itself on discovering fresh talent, and some loyal viewers feel that bringing in contestants from rival shows undermines that premise. For these fans, part of the appeal of American Idol is watching an undiscovered artist blossom into a star, and they worry that featuring the voice alumni could dilute that magic. Despite these mixed reactions, it's undeniable that crossover contestants add an interesting dynamic to the competition. The entertainment industry is tough and seeing someone persevere and take multiple shots at success is a narrative that